This video is designed for the power users, so if you're a beginner, you may want to skip it because it will be a little bit overwhelming with all the shortcuts I'm going to show. But here are the ways that I use Photoshop to zoom and navigate. I'm on the Move tool, and I hate extra clicks, so I don't want to change tools. Holding down Command and Spacebar together in most all Adobe programs temporarily changes you to the Magnifying Glass tool. If I want to zoom into his hand here, I'm holding down Command and Spacebar on the Mac or Control and Spacebar on Windows. I click and drag up and it zooms in. Keeping Command Spacebar or Control Spacebar held down, click and drag down to zoom out. Now if you don't have extra VRAM or an accelerated video card, this may not work this way. There are a few options that only work when you have video RAM or an accelerated video card. On the Zoom tool itself, starting in CS5, they added a new option called Scrubby Zoom. With the Scrubby Zoom, I can uncheck this and make Photoshop behave the way Illustrator, Acrobat, and InDesign do, since I live in those programs daily as well. Turning off Scrubby Zoom allows me to do a marquee zoom, always starting at the upper left corner, this is what a marquee zoom is. Clicking and dragging over the whole hand when I let go will zoom to that exact area. Clicking and dragging over the thumb will zoom exactly to the thumb. And Command-0 or Control-0 will fit back in Window. I'll go back to my Move tool, and now this zoom tool is permanently changed to not do the new scrubby zooming. As a Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign user, scrubby zooming isn't the same in other applications, so I'm more comfortable with it off. But if you're a Lightroom user or you just live in Photoshop, it is more helpful and more efficient having it on because it does zoom to the exact spot as you click and drag up, and it'll do something that the regular zoom tool without the scrubby zoom won't do. As you click and drag down, it'll zoom out. Let me show that. So scrubby zoom on, click and drag up on this eye, it zooms to that spot. Click and drag down, it zooms out. That's what you can't do without scrubby zoom. I'll turn it off, go back to my move tool, use command spacebar or control spacebar to click and drag and zoom in closer to his face, keeping command spacebar or control spacebar held down the entire time. Single clicks also work with Command Spacebar or Control Spacebar held down. And when I let go of Command Spacebar or Control Spacebar, I see my Move tool. On every tool in Photoshop, with the exception of the Type tool and Entering Type, Spacebar is the hand. So holding down Spacebar lets me stay on my Move tool and click and drag to toss my screen around or click and drag and being careful not to toss to keep it still to move my screen around. So I virtually never touch the hand tool or touch the zoom tool. I live by keyboard shortcuts. If you watch me use Photoshop, I'll be using it without touching most tools. In fact, for the power users, hitting the letter M will go to the marquee tool. Hitting shift M, switch to my elliptical marquee. Hitting L goes to lasso, shift L, Polygonal Lasso Tool, Shift-L, Magnetic Lasso, Shift-L, Regular Lasso. The moral to that story is hitting Shift and the letter of the tool digs to the nested tool underneath. So here I can see Crop, Perspective Crop, Slice, Slice Select. Hitting C, Jumped to Crop, Shift-C, Perspective Crop, Shift-C, Slice, Shift-C, Slice Select, Shift-C, Back to the Crop tool. And I'll hit Command-0 or Control-0 to fit back in Window. I am seeing slices because I did switch to the Slice tool. So if you find that distracting, View, Show, and Uncheck Slices. Now for the last few shortcuts. This is the one and only time I go to the Hand tool. If I zoom in with Command-Spacebar or Control-Spacebar, and click once on the hand tool. This takes a little practice to get down. This is a super secret 
power user trick. And again, it might only work if you have the accelerated video card or extra VRAM on your machine. They're about 100 bucks. really worth the investment if you use Photoshop at all. Maybe less than 100 actually. I hold down H while on the hand tool and click and hold my mouse. And this is called bird's eye view. Go to his left thumb, let go of the mouse, but not the H on my keyboard. Still holding down H, click and hold and move to his nose. Let go and I'm zoomed in. Click and hold, go to his bow tie or scarf, let go, click and hold, I'm back out. So bird's eye view jumps to any given spot based on my zoom level. And the entire time I'm doing this, I'm holding down the H key. I do not let go until I'm ready to hit Command-0 or Control-0 to fit back in window. Now the last thing. If I wanted to create type running along the left side, it can be painful to rotate your head to the left to see the type running up this side of the image. So if I grab the Type tool and I type Chef Tony, and I want that to be sideways, I would go to my Move tool and rotate this, or I can choose Edit, Transform, Rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Now if I want to edit Chef Tony, it's difficult to see. So under the Hand tool is a Rotate View tool. When I choose the Rotate View tool, I can click and drag and simply change the rotation of my monitor, now use spacebar to get into the Chef Tony area and Command plus or Control plus to zoom in. Spacebar to move, Command plus to zoom in. Click back on my type tool and triple click to select Chef Tony and I might change this to Chef Bob. So editing text is far easier if you use the Rotate View tool. Double clicking on Rotate View resets my screen, and to see that better, I'll hit Command-0 or Control-0 to fit back in window. Now I can go to the Move tool, now I can move Chef Bob down here, and if I wanted to, I could play with that type by triple-clicking. I hit T quickly to switch to the Type tool. I'll make it huge, and I'll show you some more typography stuff later in the show, but my last favorite keyboard shortcut trick, I hit the up arrow, or down arrow after clicking on the font name and it goes alphabetically through every font on my system. This also works in Illustrator and Photoshop. It did not used to work in Illustrator CS5, but that's one of the new features of Illustrator CS6. I absolutely love the feel of this because I want more of a casual font that makes me think of Italy to format Chef Bob. And now I can look at it in the actual text with the text selected. I don't have a great selection here, and I try to avoid brush script. So we'll just go for a fancy one, possibly, or maybe a casual one. When I'm finished, I'll click the Move tool, and I can move that around. So this has been your tour of Kelly's favorite keyboard shortcuts for zooming and navigating and a couple super secret tricks, including the rotate view tool nested under the hand tool.